Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the 17A notes on cubic polynomials, and this is part one of two. So, um, after this, you should be able to say that I can find x-intercepts and y-intercepts of cubic functions and graph the functions. All right, so let's start off with what a cubic function is. Uh, cubic polynomial, y equals x to the third, um, looks like so and again most people don't really know what that looks like so we can always just make a t-chart right so x and y so instead of putting in y I'm gonna put in x cubed so we usually start with negative 2 negative 1 0 1 and 2 negative 2 squared is negative 8 negative 1 squared sorry cubed is negative 8 negative 1 cubed is negative 1 0 cubed 0 1 cubed is 1 2 cubed is not 2 but 8 right there we go so here are our points. Okay, so there's negative two, negative eight, negative one, one, negative one, one, negative one, zero, zero, one, one, two, eight. All right, so that's what a cubic polynomial looks like. Now, um, let's take a look at some more cubic polynomials on the graph thing here. All right, so I've came up with a, a bunch of different ones just to kind of look and see um, what the different numbers in the different spots will be. All right, so again, here's our um, x cubed. So again, on this over here, the the up arrow, the little caret, that's our power. So this is x to the third. All right, so now this is x to the third minus 4. All right, so let's see what that does. x to the third minus 4, same graph, but now it is just translated vertically down 3. All right, so whole graph, go sorry, down 4 because of the negative 4. So this number out here is going to be our vertical translation. All right, the number at the very end. So let's take a look at what x cubed plus 2. Hopefully you can figure out what that plus 2 is going to do. You are right. It went up 2. So whole graph just gets translated up 2. All right, now let's take a look and see what the x plus 3 in parentheses does. So now we're doing x plus 3 cubed. So outside the parentheses at the very end moved it up and down inside the parentheses shabam moves it left and right okay so this x plus three actually moved the whole graph to the left three so the way i like to think of it is what do i need to put in for x so that the the parentheses equals zero negative three plus three equals zero all right and then so hopefully you can figure out that x minus four is going to translate it to the right four and it does all right now negative x cubed so now we got a negative out in the front here what's that going to do that is going to take the entire graph here here's our purple the original one and it just flips it over the x-axis so basically just rotates it around the x-axis and now it goes like so instead all right so let's put um a couple of translations together this x minus 3 to the third plus 1 so this plus 1 hopefully should take that and it will take the whole graph and move it up one and then this x minus 3 here is going to move the whole graph to the right 3 so this little spot here which is not the vertex but I like to call it the vertex just to kind of give us a little point of reference is going to be up one to the right 3 so it should be right about in here so let's double check that's the other one sorry there it is there's our little vertex point here there's our little starting point all right um, this one here negative x plus 2 to the third plus 4 whole graph goes up 4 um, this x plus 2 is gonna move it to the left 2 so there's our new like vertex point and then the negative is gonna flip it over so now it's gonna come down and look like that and to be exact it's gonna look like that so again here's our new negative 2 4 there's our new little vertex point and it's get the graph gets flipped upside down all right all right let us take a short little video break shall we let's see what did I do with it I don't see it let me find it all right here we go so I'm trying to learn how to read better you know I took a speed reading course and not to brag but my speed shot up to 43 pages a minute but my comprehension plummeted <laughs>
take the good with the bad, man. I was flying. Sparks coming off the fingertips. People next to me in class, he's a rapid reader. All right. So, um, let's take a look at some more stuff. All right. So, here's our vertex form. We get y equals x minus h cubed plus k. And if you'll remember from our graphs, this, well, this number out here, remember, was our vertical shift. That's how it translated up and down. And then this in here is our horizontal shift. And if you'll remember, we always had to try to figure out like if this number here was plus three, it would go to the left three. So it would kind of do opposite of what we would not normally think. So if you'll notice in here, it's x minus h. So it's going to basically do the opposite. So um, so this here, the h and the k is the, again, vertex with the quotes around it because it's not truly the vertex, but um, it's this point right here. All right, so this is our vertex form, which is going to come in really handy throughout the rest of this. So you're going to want to have this vertex form and know what the H and the K, know that the H and the K is the new little vertex and it's our vertical shift, horizontal shift. All right, all right, let's use that newfound information to graph some stuff. Okay, so for the function, sketch the graph and find the Y intercept. So this one here, X cubed minus two, whole graph goes. Let's use red. Let's see. Whole graph goes down to, so our new vertex point here is at 2. And then from there, it's up 1 over 1. And then it's down 1 over 1. And again, we're since we're just sketching the graph, that's going to be good enough. And we're going to look make it look like so. And ugh, like that. But you get the idea. All right. So there's that. And then the y-intercept. We look on that. Oh, look, negative two. All right. This one here. Maybe stop, pause this at this point and try these two out on your own. See what you come up with. Okay. So this one here, x plus three. Um, again, remember, it's going to be what do we put in for x? So this gives us zero. So negative three. So there's our new vertex point, right? And then we're going to, um, sorry, up one over one down one over one sketch our graph and you'll notice that we are gonna it's gonna cross way up here at some point so we got to find the y-intercept y-intercept is all along this line here and what do we know all what do we know about this line right here and what we know is that when we're looking for the y-intercept we know that x equals zero so all we need to do to figure that out is plug in zero for x. So we get the y-intercept. It's going to equal zero plus three cubed. So the y-intercept in this case is going to be 27. So that's going to be way up off the graph here. OK. Last one. This one here, plus one, is going to move the whole graph up one. And then this negative two, two minus two gives us zero. So it's going to go to the right two. There's our new vertex point, up one over one, down one over one, sketch our graph, plug in zero for x and see what we get. Y-intercept, it's going to be negative zero minus two cubed plus one. So negative two cubed is negative eight, right, and it's negative, negative eight plus one something's fishy here because it's supposed to be way down here oh because I did the wrong graph here that's not right it's negative so it should be going upside down let me back up here and get that right okay there's our vertex so again that since it's negative instead of going up to one to the right one we go down one to the right one and to the left one up one and then we sketch our graph like so all right now we're in business y equals negative 0 minus 2 cubed plus 1 so this is negative negative 8 because negative 2 to the third is negative 8 plus 1 so that's 8 plus 1 which gives us 9 so that's our y intercept is at 9 all right all right um, let's see that takes us to about 10 minutes so 
Um, but we'll pick up the rest of this here on the next video. All right.